Hi friends, I hope you are doing well. Uh, today I am came across with another set of interview question which we are asked in the, one of the company like Swiss Ray. So I am going to share the first round interview question with the first part. There are too many questions, practical questions they have asked and theoretical questions. So I am going to one by one and will share all the details. So you can see in my screen. So they have given first question. The question is this. Uh, question is this input id country state and currency and they have given their their uh, for currency usa there are uh, six state uh, six state out of six state they have told me they have given the currency for four state they and for india they have there are two state and they have given the currency inr and they told me that they output uh, want output like this so simply that time they asked me uh what is your approach that time i simply told see if uh, you is there any key column any filter condition any condition you want to apply so i can use uh, that condition uh, uh, any rules are there so i can use that and uh, apply the uh, i will create a sql query or pyspark query or python query pyspark query so i can you uh, solve this problem but they told me there is no rules they you can do you whatever way you want so simply i told in this case i will use a case statement in case statement uh, case statement suppose uh, uh, in case statement i will write suppose uh, uh, for currency i will add a new column in that when current country is usa then i will uh, make a currency as a usd if country is india then i will use a currency as a ir and r that way i can resolve the things then another question they asked ki if i have a huge amount of data means i have a 150 current uh, countries and there are too many states are there and same thing uh, currency some currency missing for the some states so how can you manage then I told the approach, whatever my approach are there, so that, so in this case, I will create one lookup table uh, on top of this table and that contain the distinct record means country and currency and will not include the, uh, uh, will not include the, uh, like, uh, I will, I will select only two columns that country and currency and will make a distinct out of that and will create a one lookup table and through look, that lookup table, I will, uh, going to fill this, uh, this table using join or, uh, using join and the things. So the, he agree and ask me to write a code. Oh, using that how you can create a uh, lookup table how you are going to join uh, how you will get the answer in using PySpark and Py, uh, SQL so that way I have resolved that is, is uh, that, that way I have started the I am going to start the query and we, you will also see the uh, uh, solution now I am going to uh, start giving solution so this is uh, I am going to running uh, df on display df ok I have to run the my df not defined now i'm going to run df display and now you can see that the input column id country state and currency you can see that the some currency is missing for the some of the state for usa and some of the india so of my first of uh, i'm going to do before that sql uh, first of all, what can I do? I will uh, create a one uh, lookup table on top of this. Then we'll go for the SQL. So first, I will create a. I'm going to create a lookup table. So I have a df 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 two. I will define here. I will uh, then I will uh, what can I do? Df one dot to filter filter here. I will give the column name based on the column name. I will take only this. Uh, that call uh, column currency column that has don't have a null so i will give uh, give the column name as a currency here currency then i will give you the here each not null is not null not null and then what i have to do but uh, before that i have to perform uh, uh, not null then i will check after that uh, whether it is required to import the necessary uh, libraries or not i have I, I i think i have already defined 
so i will create one data, another data frame here df1 dot select uh, select country currency country and currency select country comma and uh, i have to get the correct country comma currency currency dot distinct distinct then uh, dot distinct i will do the dot distinct uh, otherwise uh, i will re, uh, dot distinct and will uh, rename the column name currency to the new currency because i have to be joined with the uh, table so that time it will create ambiguous issue so with column renamed here with column renamed the spelling is correct c o l u m n r e n a m e d correct i will give the currency name is currency name new okay then what i have to do i am going to display the df3 dot display let's see what is uh, printing this okay it is showing function parameter uh, currency uh, cannot be resolved function with parameter currency cannot be resolved so i have not given the currency functions column column and parameter will not resolve why it is giving the error because we are calling the diff wrong data frame we have to call the data frame like two df2 data frame then i'm going to run so now you can see that you will get the uh, call uh, uh, one data frame that contain the india that uh, and currency for particular that now i am going to create a uh, create and replace view uh, create uh, cre to create or replace temp view and table name i will give the df 3 tvl df3 tvl and df1 dot create or replace temp view i will give the name as a df1 tvl now i'm going to run let's see hope all the will so now i'm going to start the sql question how can we resolve through the sql so i will write percentage sql and uh, percentage sql and here i will give the query select star comma nvl i will give the a dot currency comma okay i will give the first form where i am going to do df uh, df1 dot tvl tvl a tvl df1 dot tvl left to join i want to pull all the records from the left table not going to join any specific all the records i want with df df3 dot df tvl b on a dot country c o u n t country equal to b dot country now you can see that if i'm going to apply now uh, a dot country at b dot country and here will if i'm going to give the b dot c u c u double r current currency and now if i'm going to run you can see that it is giving whole column whatever it is there and it is not giving distinct and all the things so it is a, a i have to select only a dot star now i'm going to check how many rows is there now it is giving our correct record one two three four five six seven eight and usa this is 
and this is inner so keep in mind whatever uh, lookup table you are creating that contain only distinct record contain only distinct record not a duplicate record if you are going to create a duplicate uh, it will contain duplicate record there will be uh, count will be increased okay now i'm going to do here uh, by spark i'm going to do and you can see the uh, see there first i have a data from the df phone i will uh, define the alias for this alias alias and i will give the a uh, name as a, a for this and df3 equal to df uh, sorry uh, df3 uh, df1 dot alias alias i will give here name uh, data frame 1 df1 and df3 alias alias and I will give the three dot alias alias d d f three and this way why I am defining because if I am directly going to use so it will create some issue so study I was faced so that's why I am not going to uh, define that other way okay so I am going to uh, I I am going to use a d f one dot alias alias dot join bit df3 dot alias comma on which column i want to do perform uh, i want to perform the join activity so i will use this control c dot c o u n t r a country And here I will give the give three. I will give the country name dot country comma which operation will join operation I want to perform left join operation dot I will give this way and I am going to uh, select uh, I am going to perform the select operation so select 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 here i will uh, i will uh, use a uh, df dot star i will uh, i want to take all the column from first table df1 dot al alias here i will provide a star then i will use a comma c o a college i will use a college function l e e s c e s c e college and i will use here a column like a sql function whatever i have done df1 dot df1 dot alias here alias and here df1 dot alias df1 dot alias uh, suppose uh, here i what i have to give i have to give currency uh is currency c u double r e n c currency first currency first table currency then comma if not available then i have to take df3 a l i a s alias and here what i what will i do i will call the uh, cu double currency so this way uh, this way i will close it and i will give as a new name i will give as a new name what what will i give the new name is dot alias new currency column and i will go to store in one of the data frame df4 equal to this so let's run whether it is a uh, perfect or any issue yeah it is perfect now i'm going to display the df4 whether it is giving correct uh, count, uh, rec correct record or not whatever i we are expecting so if i am going to do uh, this way and uh, now you get you can see that it is giving the same as a whatever uh, i received in sql so this uh, this way this uh, this way i can achieve uh, the uh, achieve the functionality whatever uh, asked uh, examiner asked same way I, I can achieve in sql and see uh, through and uh, pyspark uh, i i can achieve this code using this code so if you have any other code you can suggest me and comment okay for pyspark as well as sql now another question what uh, they have asked so why are we using distinct after select statement in pyspark 
so we can uh, we can use it uh, in uh, before uh, selected statement so what will happen so first we will uh, select those column which we want and after that uh, we will apply distinct then it will give distinct record if not so it uh, if i am going to apply if not uh, uh, if i'm not going to do the same way so what can we uh, 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 what what will be issue so if uh, if i'm going to apply in the first then it will not work so suppose i'm going to show the here so i have created a data frame 2 here in data frame 2 if uh, df2 dot display display so df2 display if i'm going to write here you can see uh, this is the uh, this is the uh, records uh, this is the record without null if i'm going to apply dis uh, distinct then i am going to select distinct then i am going to select select column name she would she would she o u c o u n t r country comma c c u double r e n c by currency and i want to display play so you will get a same value uh duplicate uh same duplicate value it is not going to distinct anything so what i will do i, I will uh, apply it after select a statement distinct then it will give the distinct record so you understand uh, every time good practice to use a distinct after the select statement then you will get the uh, distinct record otherwise you will not get so another question he asked so what is the difference between uh, drop uh, drop duplicate and distinct keyword so simply distinct what will uh, what is uh, doing distinct distinct remove duplicate row from the uh, data frame based on all columns and it compare all the column in the data frame to determine if a row is duplicate or not if two rows are identical across all column one of them is removed so if the syntax is this is df distinct and df uh, df distinct uh, df dot distinct okay this way uh, this is the syntax another question he asked another question he asked uh, uh sorry uh, uh, i talked about the distinct i'm going to talk about the drop duplicate so re, uh, drop duplicate what will do remove duplicate rows but with the position to specify which column to use for determining duplicates if no column is specified it we have the same as a distinct remove duplicate all uh, across all the column if columns are specified it remove rows that have the same same uh, values in those uh, specific uh, column while ignoring other so the syntax for this this is the one syntax we can uh, if we don't have know the any column key column so we can uh, remove uh, based on on the column if we know the column key columns we have to give the key column name here and we it will remove the data according to that so performance by issue the performance uh, uh, performance difference is typically neg uh, negligible in smaller data set but for large data set with a, a lot of column uh, we using drop duplicate on a specific column can be more efficient as it reduce the uh, amount of the data and consider for identical uh, duplicates so uh, the uh, today for, for today it is over thank you for watching my video and i am requesting to you keep like keep subscribe my uh, channel to get more interview question which were asked in during the uh, my interview thank you very much for watching